The New New Toy Wars trailer. This series will be focusing on different toys fighting over control over a house. One faction will be the Legos, having different factions throughout history, ranging from medieval all the way to Star Wars. The Legos are a mixed faction. Mostly peaceful, they rely on the Star Wars as their main military. They mostly live in the basement in a little city called, well, the Lego City. They have different settlements elsewhere, though. They also use uh, mega blocks and other creations. They create war machines with their Lego bricks. Bricks, Lego bricks particularly, are their most valuable resource. The Lego's greatest weakness is their relatively small and outdated army. Another faction also inhabited the basement. They were the Playmobil. A nomad people, they were the original inhabitants of the basement before the Lego came. They used to be like the Lego with one large settlement, but then evolved and adapted to living off in high up places along the box in multiple small settlements. They used to have a large empire of the basement, but when the Legos came, they were forced to lose their main factions and join the Legos. They basically served as the Lego scouts. They ranged in eras, from the prehistoric era all the way to the modern era. Their various settlements were held together by patrols and supply shipments done by various people out looking for fortunes. They had many different settlements. Their main job was to protect the Lego people from harm and be the main vanguard force. Their further stuff settlement was under stairs leading down to the basement and was their first and foremost defense. Another faction in the household were the stuffed animals. The stuffed animals were an ancient race that did not take part in the wars. Their leader was a mighty dragon. They were similar to that of a house cat, uncaring. They just watched from a distance the antics the other toys did. They, they themselves wished to become gods like the humans or the house cat and just observed the other toys only occasionally meddling from afar. They had not been a part of a war for a long time. They were like the cat, uncaring, only watching as for a source of entertainment in the cruel darkness of the basement in the house. Another faction were the miniatures. The miniatures were in reality, a number of small sub-factions with inside each other, not large enough to start any of their own colonies, their own areas to live in. The miniatures sold their services to all the other larger factions, anyone who would pay for their services, and who, which allowed them to fight amongst each other, which was what they desired most of all. The miniatures would serve any faction, any day, anything for money, anything to fight each other, to fund their wars, their unending wars. A faction that dominated the upstairs of the house were the Plastic Army Men. The Plastic Army Men were the largest warlike faction in all of the house. They had the highest numbers. They were mostly infantry-based, uh, early modern warfare troopers. They could dominate any single faction alone. They used to be in civil wars together before they joined together and united. Now their goal is to enslave the entire population of all the different races of the house and take full control of the house, the backyard, and surrounding area. Their main goal is to take control of the entire planet, enslave the other toy races, the ones they cannot find uses for, melt down to plastic. The randoms were the final faction 
of the many that inhabited the household. The randoms were toys that refused to become mercenaries, but did not have large enough factions to protect them. They banded together to not be enslaved by the army men, or murdered and turned to plastic slag. Their leader was a giant red brain, who many worshipped as a god. It was their savior. It was their one and only hope at living. They constantly moved around in fears of being found and killed. The only redeeming part of their army was the larger toys that kept them safe. Oh, it was a dark time for them. In the house there is no sign of peace, only war. As the war wages on, it is best to remain a cat, meowing in delight as the toys fight. It is a playground for the humans of the cat. Oh, in these grim dark times, it is not good to be a toy in a world that is only war.